denominational. So I grew up around Protestant heathens for a while. And then I uh, converted to Islam and I was Muslim for about seven years. And then after I learned that uh, Prophet Muhammad stuck his dick inside of a nine-year-old little girl, that didn't sit right with me because none of my Jewish prophets ever did none nasty shit like that. And then after that, I kind of dabbled into atheism when I started reading Carl Sagan, exposing myself to science. And then I went through a pretty traumatic part in my life and ended up kind of teeter-tottering between whether or not I wanted to go back to Islam or if I wanted to go to Christianity. And so I decided to just go to Christianity. And then there, I was on a teeter-tot between either becoming a Protestant or a Catholic. What does it and so I just, I just stick with the ancient shit. So if I, I stick with the ancient churches, whether it's Ethiopian, Catholic, Orthodox, even though there's minor differences, I still go by what they say. Okay, cool. Uh, what about what the Bible says? Um, I'm just going to send you one video because it might be really helpful for you. It helps you identify the words of God. Um, and how to... Well, I mean, the fact that you said that you were a last prophet is a heathen statement in itself. Well, no, we can take satire, can't we? God, God, oh, okay, God so now it's satire. Our Perfect, alright, I'll yield to that. Yeah, we can, we can use satire. God what are you? Satire. Are you Anglican? Are you Protestant? Lutheran? Where, where are those mentioned in the Bible? Well, it's not that it needs to be mentioned. I mean, it's well, just there's groups that establish themselves based off of their interpretations of certain things. So yeah, Lutherans so, tend to interpret a certain thing a certain way. Yeah, so God, the only thing... I mean, Paul wrote seven letters, didn't he? What's that? Paul wrote seven letters, didn't he? To seven churches. Yeah, sure. And they're all getting it a little bit wrong, weren't they? They're all getting a little bit wrong? Okay. Yeah, because they're heathen. They get it a little bit wrong. But only... See, because in the Roman Catholic Church, we're not too... Um, we don't believe that the Bible is literal. It's a very allegorical. There are certain ah, okay. parts that we believe are divinely yeah, yeah, yeah. inspired. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm a fundamental Christian. Uh, do you know why I am fundamental Christian? I'm fundamental Catholic. Okay, but do you know why? Militant. I'm... Okay, congratulations. Uh, do you have your badges? No, what I mean by militant I is that I I, I I fight for I fight for my I fight for my faith. I'm not going to allow. Muslims to come into my neighborhood and try to eradicate my culture and my people who have always been here where I'm at since the Spanish Empire. Okay, does the Bible teach you to do that? Um, no, but human beings are human beings, and sometimes we got to do what we got to do. Mm, well, I tried to convert them to Christianity. Well, that's good. I, I, I commend you for that. It says a wise man winneth souls. I mean, but these people don't think that way, so... I mean, turning the other cheek can only go so far. I mean, weren't you Muslim? I was a Muslim, yeah. And then you became reverted... Then you became Christian? I reverted, correct. So that can happen, can't it? I mean, if they're willing to, but those people are pretty set in their ways, and they're pretty dedicated to it. You can't even begin... You can't even begin to even point out an error to them unless they... Until they want to cut your head off. The only ones that you're getting through are the ones that are doubting. Did, didn't the like, Catholic Church uh, have a war against Protestantism and kill other Christians? Yes, because it was it's heathenry. Okay, what's heathenry about um, Protestant? It's straight away from the truth, and that's the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodoxy. It's, it's straight away from that. H- how is it? What, what it is just did. I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be its own group if it did, and I can't go throughout the reasons why, but obviously it did. Okay, so God God describes one church. The Holy Roman Catholic Church, founded by the Apostle Peter, that's right. The Apostle Peter, uh, Petros, rock, small pebble. That's right. Okay, so... The Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ told us to go build his church on top of that rock in Rome, and he and did. Who, who is Jesus? Is Jesus the rock? The solid foundation? Doesn't Jesus describe himself as the cornerstone? Well, he did say that Peter was going to be the rock, and no, he was going to build the rock. Uh, is there, is there a, a line? Are you trying to convert me from Catholicism to, <laughs> to, to non denominationalism? I'm just talking to you. Because uh, it's not going to happen, bro. I'm, I'm set in my ways. I I went through my religious journey and everything like that. I'm it's studying difficult. to be a Jesuit. So. A Jesuit who can lie yeah. to people to, ch- 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 to change. Oh people. no no no! I'm I'm gonna be a different type of Jesuit. Ah, okay, I'm inspired cool. to I'm inspired to uh, reform free, the movement. Are you a Freemason? And the only reason why is because I'm Hispanic, 
Are so you? I believe in my Saint San Ignacio de, de Loyola. So I'm going to modify and to, I'm going to change it. To talking to dead saints. You do saints do for you, yes? Oh, no. I'm saying that I look up to Saint Ignacio de Loyola and okay. I look at his life as an example. Okay. Are you a I don't pray to him or anything. I don't believe in praying to the saints. Like, I'll have saints in my house, but I look at them to inspire me and to remind me of how okay. they live. I don't, don't necessarily don't, pray to them. Doesn't the Bible, I mean, the Ten Commandments, they're written in Exodus. Give us the Ten Commandments very clearly. It says we can make no idols. Well, the thing is, is that if you worship them, ah, we don't okay. worship saints. Okay. So why would you put up a picture? I mean, I don't have any pictures of Jesus in my house. I mean, the Orthodox do it. We do it. That's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Okay, but does God think there's anything wrong with it? Not you, just God. Uh, I mean, you're talking about... Uh, the allegorical Bible. Sure, yeah. God would God would think that it's wrong to worship a, a statue, yeah. So why, why would of course. you have statues or pictures in your house? Because you're not supposed to do that. You can, I can't go and pray down to a saint. It would be idolatry if I okay. went down and prayed are, to are you a saint? saint I don't, we don't do that. Are you a saint? What's that? Are you a saint? No, I'm not a saint, no. Okay, I'm a saint. I am a filthy sinner. Yeah, but you are a saint washing the, washing the blood of Jesus Christ if you're a Christian, so I'm a saint. In the Bible, we're Sure, I mean, saints. if you think you're a saint, that's fine, but I don't think no, I'm no, a no, saint. No, no, I mean, that's what the Bible says. So I'm, I'm a pure, I'm a saint through Christ Jesus. It's not through my sins. I'm perfect in the eyes of God because you can't look upon sin. Yeah, but you got to keep you gotta keep your uh, salvation up, buddy. Just because you go and happen? wash your sins away and then you think that's it, like that's yeah, a clean yeah, slate yeah, and stuff. It's, it's through faith alone, through Christ alone. You know, through faith alone and through keeping it consistent. You got to carry your cross. Where did it say that one? It doesn't matter what, what it says. It's just the context. You just got to carry so, your cross, man. I, like, I pretend that I'm not educated and I'm not an evangelist who specializes in the gospel. That's all that I'm taught to do. Pretend that one. So we think you're talking to an idiot and then you tell me where in the Bible it says that I can lose my salvation. Uh, I'm not too sure. You, you, you're not too sure, no? Yeah, but I mean, I don't think that you can go get baptized in the Protestant way and then you're all of a sudden eternally saved and you can go and continue what, to commit what, errors water, and then, you know. Water doesn't save me. Water is an outward show of an in -reli inward reliance. Um, sure, inward right, right, right. We're talking, we're, we're talking technicalities here. I'm not really trying to get into the technicalities. The main idea is, is that if you go and get baptized or if you give your faith or you give your life over to Jesus Christ or whatever, and if you think that just by simply doing that is going to get you into heaven and that you don't have to continue to carry your cross through this trial of life that we have, then, you know, I don't agree with that. I think what, that we're going to continue to sin. We're going to struggle with our sins. We, and yeah. it's our job to maintain our salvation. Cool. So Otherwise, could you, you can me? leave it. Like the way Jesus says, I knew you not. Oh, Lord God, I, I did this for you. I did you that for you, of Father God. Yeah, and then he's going to say, oh, I knew you not. Okay, so he goes from this. Did I not prophesy in your name? Did I not cast out demons on your name? God goes, depart That's right. from me, for I do not know you workers of iniquity. So those That's people right. those people came to Jesus and say, hey, I've done all these things to get into heaven. And God goes, depart from me. I didn't know you. You didn't put your faith in me. You put your faith in your works. Like Cain, not Abel. So he said, so so he said that you put Catholics. your faith in the works. Did he say that? Because you wanted to pull the card out on me about being technical, about, oh, where does it say about... Use that sentence. Faith, but did he actually say the rest of the stuff that you added in there? Yeah, of course he did. I don't have a Bible in my head, bro. Okay, let's look it up right here. Off the air. Go to King James uh, Bible, please. It's all right. I have a Hebrew Bible. Or I have a Greek version here just to suck it. Do you, do you speak Greek? I, I'm learning Greek. I speak Hebrew. Just, I speak Aramaic. And I speak Arabic. Just go to King James Bible, because it's perfect. I believe the King James Bible, yes. Yeah, so uh, so what's the verse that you want me to look up? What's the I, verse? I know since the you know the Bible, the, where, what's know, the verse where I he says that? I don't know that? the verses because I learned it in my head, but I can pull it up. Um, did we not prophesy in your Did we not prophesy in your name? KGB. Oh, there we go. In your name, Bible verse. Uh Matthew, so, uh, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then we profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you you that work iniquity. Or you've gone. <laughs> you don't fuck it. What a little pussy. This is the thing about people. <laughs> This is the thing about um, people. I'm going to wrap this one up because I love meeting um, 
religious people, oh, you depart from me, you workers of iniquity. They're coming to God and saying, look how good I am. What about all the beautiful Buddhists? What about the beautiful uh, uh, atheists who set up orphanages all their life and do beautiful things, countless philanthropy, th people that donate the organs and do all these beautiful works but don't believe in the blood. They believe in themselves to get themselves to heaven. The standard for heaven is perfection. It has to be perfection. So God is your perfection. So they're coming to God saying, look, like that guy was, look, I've jumped in a bit of water. I've, all this Catholic nonsense, there's no point even going into it because it, if you read your Bible, which this guy clearly doesn't, and it's like, you know, sometimes you have to show them what they sound like. And when you are born again, you have the spirit of God on you. And when I mention at the end of my videos, you can feel, I can feel the presence of God now. Yeah. And that's what leads me to do um, greater works that he's prepared for me. Working in unison with God. Yeah, for his glory. God's real, guys. The Holy Spirit is something that happens to you. And then you and God go to work together. Yeah. God. God loves you so much. He's done everything for you. When you accept that, you understand how great God is and you, you will serve him together with the Holy Spirit. God will guide you through the Holy Spirit and it just changes your life. Changes your life. Stop talking about how good you are. Stop talking about how good God is. All glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And Catholics, pick up your book.